Hey guys, so today I'm going to jump on the matte train and I am going to do half matte, half shiny cup. Um, this is from DIY Epoxy. I will post the link down in the descriptions and everything I use in the video will be in my new Amazon store that I have now and you can see that in the link. You just click on it and all the stuff that I've used in all my videos, the links are all there in the store, easier to find. So... Um, this is the prep and matte paste and this is what I'm going to be using today and that first thing I did was I spray painted my cup with a black matte spray paint from Rust-Oleum. I did two coats. Um, the best way to do spray paint is to just spray in bursts so you don't get any drippies and stuff like that. I have another cup going on this side that I'm gonna throw some resin on while I have my resin mixed up. This was a custom order. Um, you wanna make sure the spray paint is really, really dry. Um, I waited, a, it's usually a couple hours, but I waited till the next day because I ended up having to. But um, <laughs> as you can see, I got a big miss, mess going on here and I really should get this cleaned up before I start the cup, so I'm gonna mix up my resin and clean up a little bit, cause I don't wanna get glitter on this matte cup. So I'm gonna go mix up some resin, clean up a little bit, and I'll see you guys shortly. All right, so the first step I'm going to do, well, the first step I did was I spray painted with black matte, and now I'm going to lay a layer of resin down. And I, I'm just picking it up with my stick and kind of drizzling it on. And then I'm going to come with my gloved finger and just smooth it on. Make sure you cover the bottom. Just keep going up and down, making sure everything is covered. If you do this while your um, spray paint is still wet, if you didn't let it dry enough, the resin will, will not stick in certain parts and you will get divots. This is gonna be like a peekaboo cup we're going to lay down this layer of resin. We're gonna come back in 12 to 24 hours. We're gonna let this cure for 12 to 24 hours. And then we're gonna lay down another layer of resin. Then we're going to stick our decals on. And then we're gonna apply the matte sanding. And then we're gonna sand with the matte paste. And then we are going to pull them off and we should have shiny and matte. So now I'm gonna grab my respirator. I got this from Granger. I will leave the description in the, I mean the link in the description box and there's also a bunch of um, respirators, full face, half mask in my Amazon shop. And I'm just gonna hit this with heat just to smooth it out and to pop any bubbles. I like to go with a sweeping motion with my torch. I do not hold it in one space. I go up and down.
Don't forget the bottom. And you should have a smooth black cup. So like I said, we're gonna let this sit for 12 to 24 hours to cure a little bit and then we'll come back and do the second layer. So I'll see you guys in about 12 to 24 hours. Hey guys, um, so now this is ready for the second layer of resin and it actually sat for about two days because I got a little busy, um, which is perfect. It's It needs to cure in between and after this layer, I'm gonna let it set for like another two days because you want it to cure really well before you start um, using the matte paste so that it's scratching a hard surface, you know, not that the resin isn't cured. Um, as, as probably all of you know, I own a mica company and I sell micas and my cups are in the same room as where I'm bagging and this has some shimmer on it. I've been trying to clean it with a wet paper towel and then dry it off because we don't want the shimmer but it's like almost impossible so i'm just going to start with my second layer this will be the final layer and then we will put our decals on we'll do our mat we'll rip the decals off and then the cup will be done mat will always be your final layer So I'm just drizzling on, just like last time. And then I'm gonna take my gloved finger and just start at the edge, at the edges and smooth up and down. Make sure my whole cup is covered. Make sure that you cover the bottom and the edges of the bottom. And I'm just letting it spin a few times and I'm gonna keep smoothing it until I make sure that my whole cup is covered not missing any spots because this is going to be the final layer so we want it to be a perfect layer all right i think i got it good now i'm going to put my respirator on and i'm going to hit it with a torch just like last time not too much up and down sweeping motion, respirator. Make sure you cover the bottom. I actually see a place that I missed on the bottom. So I'm gonna grab one of these handy dandy finger cuts. Just drizzling a little on the bottom and rubbing in where I missed.
and that's it. I'm gonna let that spin for five hours and then I'm gonna stop the spinner and then I'm just gonna leave it on here and let it cure for about two days and then we will be back to do the final steps. Thank you guys for watching and see you soon. Hey guys, so the second layer is done and I let it cure for like two days and now I'm going to come and put on some stickers, some vinyl. Um, I did it in a bright blue so that you'll be able to see, the, see it on the cup. Um, this is a Halloween cup for a swap partner. Um, I just wanted to tell you a few things about the final sand. Um, Southern Shelly from Southern Glitter Goddess actually referred me to a YouTube um, video. It was Callie from, from Glazed Epoxy. I'm going to put the link in my description box, but she has like a 30 minute um, video that tells you everything you need to know about this. Um, I would definitely watch it. She has so much in information, like this stuff has been around for 30 years, it's made for cars. Um, DIY epoxy, I have little notes over here, DIY epoxy took over it. Um, it's non-toxic, it has a detergent in it, like for cleaning, already built inside of it. Um, magic, a lot, she tells you everything, like how to take care of your, your matte cup, because you know, if you get your oil fingerprints on it, um, she, she tells you to use a magic eraser. You know, you're going to want to tell your customer how to take care of their matte cup. Um, matte cups are more expensive. They're more sought after, after and a little harder to take care of. So it's a, it's just a really good informative video. And like I said, I'm going to leave the link. Um, it was glazed epoxy and her name's Callie. I'm going to leave the link to her YouTube channel in the description box. And I'm going to leave a link to final sand from DIY epoxy a few people um were buying this on amazon and there was a scam going on Am on amazon where it wasn't the correct stuff and you don't know what's in the stuff if it's not correct and they're telling you that this is non-toxic so you're definitely want to wanting to get it from diy epoxy from the company itself and not from amazon so um i'm gonna go put some stencils on this that's where it's gonna be shiny and then underneath is gonna be matte, but I'm not gonna do it on camera because it's gonna take forever. But another thing I wanted to show you um, is that I do not use the paper, the Cricut paper, the transfer paper. I use this, it's called Glad Press and Seal. It's like $3. Um, it's a learning curve when you're picking up the vinyl, you have to be very patient with it and kind of press it down. But this lasts forever and it's so much better than the other one. It like, I can't explain it. It stretches and bends around the cup so that it's easier for you to get images on the cup. So anyways, I just wanted to show you Glad Press and Seal. It's like $3 at Winn-Dixie and it slaps the other stuff. I forgot what it's, what it's called. I just said it a few minutes ago the Cricut um, transfer paper, that's what it is. Okay, so anyways, I'm gonna go put these on and then I'm gonna meet you at the sink um, to put our matte paste on here. Um, I'm gonna start with gloves. You can use a wool grade zero zero or you can use a gloved hand. Callie uh, was talking about that in the video. Start with a gloved hand because if you scratch it too much and then it's too scratched, so you wanna be gentle with it. So this is my first time doing a matte cup and hopefully it comes out awesome. So I'm gonna go put these stickers on and then I'll meet you guys at the kitchen sink. Hey See you guys. soon. So we are at the kitchen sink and I have my cup and I put the decals on um, just in random spots. Make sure that they're smoothed down all the way. And for the first go, I'm gonna use my gloved hand. Um, I have my steel wool just in case I need it but I'm basically just gonna put my hand in there. I'm gonna wet the cup. And I'm going to, hopefully my dogs are not gonna start barking and my husband and stepson are not gonna come out here. I'm gonna put some on the cup and just start rubbing it in. I tried to watch as many tutorials as I could before I made this cup, um, 
and actually decided to film it, but because I wanted it to be awesome for my swap partner. And a lot of people use the gloved hands. You know, they say you can feel what you're doing. With the Brillo pad, it's kind of hard. You're not, you know, you're not able to feel it. And you just want to make sure that you get every single spot. So I'm just scrub a dub dubbing and then going back over where I scrubbed and then coming back forward again. I'm gonna wet it a little more. Just add a little more on this side. And you're gonna wanna go, oh, don't forget the bottom. You're gonna wanna go around the cup three or four times. My hands are so little, my hand just fit right in the cup. Um, you can probably use your football. This is definitely fun and different. So, I know another swap, right? If you've been following my videos, and I said I wasn't gonna do another Halloween video, but someone in my swap dropped off, dropped out at the last minute because they had a medical emergency. So I had to make another swap for someone. And my matte paste had just came in and I said, oh man, I need to try this. I mean, this stuff is amazing. Um, Callie was also saying in the video that it's like multi-use. Like if you have a stain on a window, stuff like that. It was originally made um, to prep cars for painting. And like I said earlier, it has a detergent in it. So it's cleaning the oils off. <laughs> that was my stepson coming in. But I'm just making sure I'm getting the edges and the bottom. And since this is the first time I've done this before, I kind of want to like stop and check it and see how it's going. I'm making sure I get into the little eyes and the little nose and the stencil. But I'm thinking about rinsing it off and checking and seeing how I'm doing. So everything under the stencil when we peel it up will be shiny and then everything else should be matte. So we're basically doing a peekaboo. Make sure I get the lip of the cup. All right, I'm gonna rinse it off a little. And I feel like I am not putting a dent in this. Like it is not matte at all. So I, it's still shiny. So I'm gonna pull out the steel wool. I'm just gonna wet the cup again. And I'm just scrub a dub dub in. Do the bottom. And remember, this is non toxic. So if I'm getting a little bit on my arm, 
it is okay. You can see the detergent in it. All right, I'm gonna do a little test. I'm actually gonna dry it with a towel. It is a little matte, yes. It's getting there. Yes, it's definitely happening. I feel like I just need a little more. That is so awesome. Hold on, I'm gonna dry it off first. You know, like you, you can always keep going, but you can't take away. So I just wanna make sure that, oh my God, guys, this is amazing. I can see the spots that I missed which is around the top of the edges here and around the bottom there. So I'm gonna put a little more on and I'm gonna go around it and focus on the edge and the bottom. Probably one more time, I don't wanna do it too much. That's definitely matte in the middle. And I'm loving this already. So I'm gonna wet it up again. And I'm focusing on the top and the edges as I go around. And I'm just gonna lay it down. around the edges. Make sure I get that bottom. And then I'm gonna rinse again and dry and see gonna take this glove off. Dry it one more time and see what I missed. I, lo I love this so much. Like I feel like I could do these cups all day. You have to dry it really well. There goes my doggies barking. All right, guys. It's so pretty. I actually have a little dimple that I made a mistake in the cup right here. Yikes. See it right there? A little imperfection. But this stuff is awesome. It definitely works. Um, I like that it's non-toxic. There's other things that you can use, but they have a lot of chemicals in them. I'm 
I'm just like inspecting it and making sure I got everything. Okay guys, so I got it right where I want it and I had to go find my weeding tool because I always lose it. And now I'm just going to pull the stencils off. If your vinyl happens to leave a little bit of sticky residue behind, you could use a magic eraser or some essential oils to get it off. I bought like three of these tools because I, I can never find them. And my scissors too. And like, I have a designated space for everything. Like I'm gonna hang my scissors here. Three pairs of them so I can always find them. And they're never where I where they're supposed to be. And I don't know about you, but I always need scissors. So you can see just my fingerprints a little wet where I'm pulling. And there's a little bit of adhesive left over and we'll just wash that. So I'm not gonna bore you um, peeling all these off. So I'm gonna get them peeled off and then I'm just gonna give it a final wash with dish soap and a regular dish sponge to get the adhesive, a soft dish sponge adhesive off of the shiny parts. And then I will make a video of this. Um, but that's basically how you do it. It was super easy. Um, you just wanna make sure that your first two coats are pretty flawless because that's the coach you're going to be using. You're not doing anything else, but the final sand over it. Um, and thank you guys for watching so much. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and please like my video. And if you have any questions, shoot them down in the comments and I try to get back to everybody as soon as I can. Thank you guys. See you later.